I fall asleep, yeah I need you with me by my side DuckTales characters I've wanted to create a fan concept are real for, I chose to start with Daisy. The moment I found out she was gonna appear in season 3, I took out my project agenda and started jotting ideas for concepts and character exploration. The idea of this video is to create a small-scale imitation of all those beautiful making of videos I've watched over the years. The concept art itself, rough but beautiful in the way it's imperfect, and the voiceover on each piece were always some of my favorite parts of these videos. I'll also be uploading a commentary-free version of this video, so make sure to check it out on my channel. So I've watched the episode and I gotta say I really like this version of Daisy so far. She works in fashion, which is in line with her interests, especially when you take the Duck comics into consideration. In the comics, she's social, extroverted, and has a lot of interests where aesthetic and beauty are the most important things. Like Donald, she seems to move from job to job quite frequently, and that's one of the things they both have in common. In some stories, she's implied to be more ambitious career-wise, as in she wants to be a leader in her field. She's also got a bad temper, and like Donald, she's close to her family and Donald's. She loves Grandma Duck, and she's a mother figure to her own nieces, to mirror Donald and his nephews. It's too early to know if her nieces exist in this universe, and personally, I think there's a lot of interesting potential if they do. So in the new DuckTales series, she's an assistant to Emma, a powerful, wealthy figure in the world of fashion who turns out to be Mark's mom. And she's trying to get her break as a fashion designer. And I hope this girl makes it because she's genuinely got talent. I think borrowing from her looks in the old 50s cartoon, Donald's Diary, was a great design decision and a great way to give the audience the chance to observe her through a fresh lens, a fresh perspective. Her typical look that we've been familiar with for decades, especially in the comics, has kind of become associated with a particular idea of her a specific set of personality traits, if you know what I mean. And many of those traits are, unfortunately, kind of annoying. One of the most common traits you see coming up in several stories in the comics is the whole issue of her being very demanding and very high maintenance. This take on her in the new DuckTales doesn't take away from one of her most defining character traits, and that's constantly striving to perfection. In fact, here, it's necessary in her field, it's perfectly understandable. But the good thing is, she handles problems she faces and her own flaws more maturely, more like a grown-up. We see her get annoyed and almost lose her temper more than once, but she calms down, takes a breath, and immediately sets out to fix it. So, this is one little thing that was improved from many of her depictions in the comics, where in many cases she would have either yelled or cried, and then demanded that Donald fix the problem. The missed storytelling opportunity is that this is almost never shown as a character flaw in those stories, where she realizes she was not her best and should change, no. It's shown as funny and romantic and an indication of Donald's huge heart and his genuine love for Daisy. Much of Daisy's negative traits in the comics are just for comedy, to be honest, but I understand why a lot of people would be exasperated by this behavior, because it only serves to imply that the character is immature and always needs someone else to do the heavy lifting for them. Realistically, nobody would want to be with someone like that, whether as friends or as a romantic partner. Again, I want to stress that these situations in the comics where she is being impatient and temperamental to the point of being hypocritical are almost always played for laughs and are not present in every story, obviously. In fact, more than once when the story takes a serious turn, 
you see Daisy buckle down and take responsibility and do a fine job. Basically, she's usually portrayed as someone who'll nag at you until you finish a job that meets her perfectionist standards. But if someone she cares about is in trouble, she'll step up. She'll help and do what has to be done just fine. She's been shown to be capable, quick thinking and loving and you wonder why they don't write more stories of that. We've only seen Daisy in one episode in DuckTales so far, but I hope we get to see a good story of how she deals with her temper and perfectionism while still handling herself like an adult and not sabotaging herself or her relationships over imperfections. I think that's why creating this video was exhausting but also in a way almost therapeutic. No one can fault me for choosing this song as well, it's perfect and I needed it. In the future, I'd love to see a Devil Wears Prada kind of environment and see how she handles the high stress environment and snooty bosses. That would be a fun character study and we get to see a more relatable scenario of a young woman doing her best in work and in life. I hope this video was neither too long nor too short and I hope you like the sketches. Please feel free to chat about Daisy and DuckTales in general and what you liked or disliked about the episode down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share this video, it'll help me a lot. I'd really appreciate it and as always, you'll find my Tumblr down in the description box. Take care, stay safe, and have a good night's sleep.